Flexible Homeschool app is designed around the concept of flexible time frames rather than specific dates on a calendar. Understanding the basics of this concept will help you get started with the app. In many ways, we already use the concept of flexible time frames in our everyday homeschool life. For instance, we think of a school year as a flexible span of time. It can have starts and stops, and it's not a specific period of 12 months. In our minds, a school year is a rather flexible concept. Terms have flexibility built into them as well. You can have any number of terms, and those terms can be any number of weeks. It is the idea of a week where our thinking gets rigid. We tend to think of a week as five consecutive school days, or more specifically, as September 3rd through the 7th. However, Flexible Homeschool app treats a week with much more flexibility. For instance, in the app, week three is simply the third week you do school, not specifically September 3rd through the 7th. So if you take two calendar weeks to complete week three, the app can handle it without any extra effort on your part because a week is considered a time frame for flexible planning and execution, not a rigid set of dates on a calendar. When scheduling schoolwork in the app, the concept of times per week is used, for instance, three times per week, rather than the actual days of the week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or dates on the calendar, September 3rd, 5th, and 7th. Times per week are presented as segments for the week. Segments are roughly equivalent to days, but do not have to be treated as such. For instance, you could do two segments of math on Tuesday if you had to get things done more quickly that week, and the app just flexes around that reality. Because the app is built around flexible time frames, there are two pro tips we want to share with you right from the top. First, when using the app to plan a school year, don't concern yourself with interruptions, potential sickness, vacations, etc., Simply insert the total number of weeks you intend to do school for each term. You can start and stop school as needed. Flexible homeschool app won't even notice. Second, when setting up schoolwork, you will be asked to enter general instructions. Be sure to keep them general, that is, flexible. For instance, read three chapters a week is always helpful. It doesn't matter if you speed up, slow down, or even stop schooling for a bit. It's a general goal for every week. Once you get going, the flexibility of the app and the tremendous advantage that flexibility provides will become much more obvious, but it's good to be familiar with these foundational ideas before you begin.